what are the top tips? Top tips around forecasting. Well, there's a lot, and there's a lot running through my head, and we've covered a lot through this session. But there are probably three, three that I'd take away and ask you to just scribble down in your notebooks. The first one is have that sales process. Regardless of the size of your business, you know, if you've got sales team of 20, 30, 40 people, or whether you're a solopreneur and it's you that's doing everything, have a sales process because without a sales process, you're not able to forecast your results because you're not able to look back into the data to look forward. So that's the second point. Use the data in your sales funnel to guide you forwards. Remember, your data doesn't lie. If you really are investing time in filling in, say, your sales CRM system, or you're using the data within that, you've really got some nuggets of valuable information. So make sure you're using that data to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of your sales approach and trust it because that is your North Star. It will guide you. And the third piece of, uh, the third top tip that I would give everybody in the room today is remain focused. Do not be distracted just because you have a blip. Do not celebrate too quickly because you've had a great month. Forecasting probably has cycles in it. You've got to know the cycles within your business. Is it seasonal uh, holiday periods? Uh, is, it, is it linked to an event that goes on that you're able to leverage and maximize? And all the things around uh, remaining focused if you're having peaks and troughs is really important. So there are the three things. One, have a sales process. Two, use the data because it guides you. And three, remain focused.